So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Combat Fight Series 12, where we have another five one and a half minute rounds of N Class Muay Thai rules, matched at 66 kilos. So, let's get the fighters into the ring by welcoming into the black corner from the Impact Gym in Salisbury. It's Henry Taylor. And his opponent this evening in the uh, white corner. He fights out of the Luke Bright gym in Southampton. Please give a warm welcome to Jay Fleming. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the black corner from the Impact Jim in Salisbury, it's Henry Taylor. And facing this evening in the white corner, representing the Look Bright Jim in Southampton, it's Jay Fleming. Over to your referee. Move on to uh, bout number six on the card this evening, which is a 66 kilogram novice Muay Thai matchup to be competed over five one and a half minute rounds. Henry Taylor from the Impact Gym and Jay Fleming, Look Bariah Gym, head to head. Once again, I'm Danny Kendrick in the commentary box. We're live on uh, Leapfrog Fight TV, and I'm joined by your co promoter of the show, Sean Toomey. How are you, Danny? Lovely to be teamed up with you again, mate. Very good, my friend. i tell you what, Sean, these boys have gone straight at it, but we just saw earlier on two very young kids fighting at the very highest level for their age, I think. That's it, mate. Few future champions, I think, Danny. Most definitely. If they start very young, when they become into teenage years and adult years, that's when it shows, you know, the likes of Jonathan Haggerty and George Jarvis. For instance, yep, comes very naturally to them, doesn't it? But I thought the fight was absolutely fantastic. And anyone watching on Leapfrog TV, I hope you're going to watch back and watch that again. All high kicks flying already. And again, that high kick straight into the guard. He had his right hand up, but could have caught him. Yes, Dan, we've got a new gym here that we've never um, used before. Conflict gym, uh, murder with, uh, uh, sorry, Henry Taylor from the Impact. That should be, sorry, my mistake, that's Impact Gym in Salisbury. So we haven't dealt with him before, but he's a, a very strong gym. Yeah. So it's always nice to bring on new gyms uh, for this brand, the Combat Fight Series. Welcome to Combat Fight Series then, and you've definitely turned up already. It's been and as we know, uh, Jay Fleming from the famous Look Bride Gym in Southampton produced great fighters for many, many years. Many, many, and Mo Abdurrahman used to fight out there as well, didn't he? Sure Mo Abdurrahman, uh, tonight they've got Jordan Swinson going for the Jordan world title. Jordan Swinson, yeah, two fantastic fighters that we've seen on these very shows. Representing from that gym. There's a lot of gyms that are actually local to here in Bournemouth as well, isn't there, Sean, that you actually have on the show? That's right. We've dealt with a lot of gyms. Ideally, we're doing a show in Bournemouth here. So we like to use the local uh, the local fighters and um, chance of their local to showcase their talent. Yep, against some of the best in the country. See who's coming through. We're going straight to 
Second to five here. And instant pressure again from Fleming. Fleming looks really strong here, Sean. They're a well schooled gym. Um, they've got a very unorthodox style. They flow from different angles, uh, change guard on a regular basis. It's not a normal look that you get in Muay Thai. And for some gyms or some fighters, it's very confusing. No, it's very, yeah, very kickboxing style in Muay Thai, isn't it? Well, he's got him in the corner where he wants him there. Oh, steps over and knees, releases under the, um, almost this, they're fighting Muay Thai, but it's almost like that K1 rule set where you just let go after the knee and you can strike again. That's what they do, they, they pressure with flow combination, like a boxing K1 style. And a lot of Muay Thai gyms in the UK, they don't really work very much on their hands. Hence why if they do go to K1, they, they struggle. Yeah. So, you you know, it's a, that's why the look I do very well with, with that kind of style. Yeah, they're obviously getting wins and getting achievements with that style. And he's kicking him back into the ropes and Nian as well. Got him where he wants him here, hasn't he? Two young boys here. It's going a little... And basically, Henry Taylor came back well there with a good work combination. Um, this is a nice little fight here. Yeah, Taylor's... Got to get his back off the ropes here, would you say? Because he is getting punished when he's there. First rule of the game, Dan, never get pinned in the corner. If you're going back, go back in a straight line, in half circle off, left and right. It's been two very good rounds from the Look for Eye fighter, Jay Fleming here. If everyone's watching back home on League Frog TV, please do not forget, you are just five bouts into 22 bout card here. And if you're joining on the subscription, which is just 4 99 you're going to get four shows just this month alone. Referee brings them together. Of course, they fight under on Muay Thai, the five round oh, shot. Number three. Which is good, five one and a half minute rounds. Stern kicks go up high. Because they're short rounds, basically you need to get off very quickly. And uh, it's good to have five rounds, I know, but when it's only a minute and a half, you've got to start going to work straight away. They get more instruction as well, don't they, at the end of each round. That head kick landed, left head kick. They've been threatening to for a long time. He's kept his right hand high and he punches hard, um, does Taylor. But Fleming's got him where he wants him for the whole fight, I think, don't you? Yes, I think so. Henry Taylor's uh, he's game, and he takes a shot, then it seems to wake him up. Then he throws some combinations. Nearly a knee to the head there, which is obviously illegal in uh, in N class. Yep. But it's a nice little match between two young guys. Two young guys here, just starting off their game, and um, some good, good talent here. Yeah, I, I think really good talent. Fleming's lethal on that lead leg. He hardly, he hardly keys it up. He just lets it go. There's, there's his right leg, but it's the left kicks. I think you've got to watch out for. There's one just as I say it on the commentator's button there. Brings it up nicely. He makes it with no effort whatsoever, Danny. Walks into hooks as well, though. He's got punches on him, Taylor. You can see a bit of reddening on the left side under the armpit there of, uh, of Taylor. Obviously scoring kicks. Yeah. And another body kick there. It's the left leg, Sean. It's lethal. It's accurate. It's relentless. Scores well in Muay Thai as well. Yeah. And it's really hard to defend, isn't it? Exactly. You've either got to move off Danny or grab the leg and throw a counter shot. Uh, but like I said, he's very fast. When people, when you see them fighters kick with the lead leg, you watch them switch, don't you? It gives you a chance to flinch and move. 
But this guy, <laughs> this guy doesn't give anything away. That left None. kick's just up in your head and in your body before you know it. And that's what they do look right, Jim. They, uh, they come with the hands and then they'll start coming with kicks. And as you remember, Mo Abdurrahman, he hits from weird angles and throws unorthodox weaponry. There's those high kicks on the left leg that you're watching now. Punches, marching back, but you see, like you said earlier, don't get trapped in the corner. You said that earlier, and he is getting trapped in the corner in this fight. And ring craft, Danny, is a big part of the game. Most You've got to be very aware where you are. You don't want to get pinned in the ropes or the corner post. Move off, ang angle, angle. Yeah. Again, left hook, sends him down, it's a flash knockdown. It was more, a bit of a slip as well, that was a good shot, that left hook. Yeah, the left hook's lethal, that's the second time this round. Is he giving him too much ground, Sean? Is he letting him walk too close to him? Going backwards? Going backwards and remaining on the ropes. You can't do that, you've got to move on. If they do come towards you, fire something back. Yeah, just try and meet him in the middle, clinch him up. What would your instruction be to get him out of this trouble? Because the look variety team seem to have it right at the moment. Impact yep. Jim, got to change the plan a bit, haven't they? Yeah, they've got to keep moving a bit more. Don't get pinned on the ropes. And if you go under attack, take one kick like that, return with two shots. So that in the judges' eyes, you get two weaponry, two bits of weaponry as opposed to one. Yep, but you can't out. just let them build the points up. Much easier. So so as you done, can see, course. he's going back, but he fired back there. He's done a, a, a switch hook. But now he's going back, so he's going back and waiting. Oh, he tries twice off balancing, but he keeps his balance. He stands well on the uh, standing leg, doesn't he? Yeah. Now, nice, that's it, half circle off. But once again, that, that left switch body kick is doing very, very well for Fleming from Look Bright Jim. Just marching back onto the ropes again. It's been the pattern of this fight. It's going to go down as another good round for the Look Right Jim and Jay Fleming. And you said it yourself, the ring craft is all over the white corner, isn't it? Exactly. And um, I think what happens is sometimes in the first round, uh, the fighter will start to read his opponent, look for the patterns, yep. the way that he moves. And then that he's, he's playing into that now with Fleming because he knows he's just going to go back in a straight line and then he's, he's catching him. But you never know, he may well start changing his game up, uh, Taylor. There was that left hook just now that you saw as a heavy shot, that was. But he's patient. When you've got the guy where you need him, you can fire shots through your back on the ropes, but you can be patient when you've got him where you need him, can't you? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's Muay Thai, so it's not just one, one set of weaponry. It's very nice to have good hands as well as your kicks. And, um, you know, as we see in the olden days, the Dutch were great at employing the hands in the Muay Thai. Raman Decker swinging thumps very technical fighters many many times didn't they i remember seeing the dutch early days when they came over they were just ferocious fifth and final round. round well fifth and final it's gonna have to be something extra extra special here from henry taylor he's been a very strong kid and he's hung in there for the lot he's thrown strong punches as well but jay fleming from the look for our gym has not left him alone has he no at the moment i think that fleming's uh, cruising to a points victory but you never say never. Taylor's getting aggressive now. He may have been told. Oh, Taylor may have been told by his corner. You need a stoppage or a, a few counts. Off balancing well as well now, showing some different skills. Fleming. Fleming just again gets that guy's back to the ropes, and Taylor just needs to get off, doesn't he? Solid body kick. You can see in Fleming's eyes, he fancies it. He, he, he must realise he's in front. But get full credit to Henry Taylor, he keeps coming. Big knees, two very big left knees there from Fleming. Taylor's really strong, actually. He's taking shots. He hasn't moved or flinched for any of them. And, and you know what, Dan, shots. in the clinch, you see a lot of times they go, go for the grab and the grip, but they don't knee. It's not about the grab, it's about the scoring knees. Yes. So when you're in there, as soon as you've got the grab, drive the knees, drive the knees, change position. Switch, there's that kick again. 
You just don't see it coming. He doesn't give anything away. How do you see it so far, Danny? Who do you see in front? I've got every single round to the uh, look for our fighter, Jay Fleming, on my card. And uh, what a catch from the referee, Chris Bachelor. I'd have been tempted to let him have the kick after that, uh, <laughs> boy, to be honest, but that's why we're not refereeing, Sean. That's it, mate. That's a tough job. Good old Chris, one championship referee. Yeah. Great referee. And how do you see that one, Dan? Yeah, every round, I think, for me. What about yourself? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think on points it could well be definitely for Fleming, but yep. we're not we're not uh, no, judging. No. Commentator scorecard counts for nothing to all you guys back home. Another great bout, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause for these fighters. Come on. And after five explosive rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the ringside judges, where our judges have reached a unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the white corner, Jay Fleming. And your fantastic runner-up, Henry Taylor. Again, throwing shots on the back foot all the time. Taylor, but you've got to be really good, really technical if you're going to win fights going backwards like that, and giving ground to someone like Fleming. There's a good right hand he's trying to throw, constantly trying to throw shots in there with Taylor. There's the off balancing that we saw in that last round as well. Extra Muay Thai skills from Fleming. Good positions on the clinch, he had his hand on the back of the head but he then squeezed him in nice and tight which although spoiled Fleming he needs to be squeezed